24 Hour News 8 continues to follow more local news now. Happening tonight, thousands of people will be downtown for the Circle of Lights celebration. At 6 p.m., the lights will turn on at the Soldiers and Sailors Monument. Just like in previous years, there was a coloring contest to see which child will get to help Santa flip that switch and turn on all the lights. Remember, there will be several changes in security for the year. The performance stage will now be on North Meridian Street, right in front of the monument. Plus, bicycles, chairs, coolers, pop-up tents, those are banned this year. Officials also say if you're going, plan to arrive early and stay late. And in Noblesville, the new temporary ice rink is now officially open. The Federal Hill Commons Ice Plaza opened at the top of the hour. It'll be open every day through January 8th, except on Christmas Day. The rink holds about 200 skaters at a time, and there will be several special themed nights throughout the winter, including Small Business Saturday, which you know is tomorrow, an elf party, and we're also hearing something about an ugly sweater night. Admission is $12 for unlimited skating. And in Pacers Watch, the team is back at home for Black Friday. They play the Toronto Raptors at Bankers Life Field House. The Pacers are also holding the annual Gold Friday ticket special sale right now. You can get balcony level tickets for just 10 bucks, club level tickets for $35, and lower level tickets for 50 bucks. Those deals only last until 8 o'clock tonight. That's when the game tips off. And the old Oaken bucket game between Purdue and IU means just a little bit more this year. Both teams are coming into the game with five wins. Yeah, that means the winner of the game will become bowl eligible. The losing team season will likely come to an end. This is the first Oaken bucket game for both head coaches. I use Tom Allen says he's looking forward to the game because of the hype surrounding it. To me, I think that's uh, exciting for this game and and uh, to be able to to be in a game like this that has so much passion and meaning outside of anything else other than just the game itself and then you add in you know the component of where how they're playing and how we're playing and what we're playing for so it just uh, makes it pretty special this year's game is in west lafayette tomorrow kickoff is set for noon and in Colts watch this morning, all signs point to quarterback Jacoby Brissett taking the field this weekend against the Titans. The team spent part of their Thanksgiving day on the practice field. Officials say Brissett is progressing through the concussion protocol and all signs point to his start on Sunday. Colts head coach Chuck Pagano took the week off to think and came to one conclusion about Sunday's game. Lord knows we won't try any more fake kicks. <laughs> But when they run me out of here finally, that'll be the only thing they show. <laughs> you know? It's pretty show memorable. Colt sitting under. <laughs> classic. The Colts are home against the Titans for a 1 o'clock kickoff on Sunday. I remember that game. Ooh. <laughs> well, no one's going to forget more, that game. More than right one, now. wasn't it, though? Oh, Isn't that my. Just, oh, hopefully that won't follow him too long. No, I, was like, I just <laughs> remember that. I think we were at the game that one, and I just thought, what are they doing? Wait a and minute. It's, it's yeah. totally backfired. I bet the, the other team thought the same thing. Yeah, like, but they were, opportunity better, right here. they were better prepared than we were for, that's for <laughs> yeah, sure. So, well. hey, I, welcome aboard Barris's Blackboard. Thank you. And uh, we all have our predictions for the Colts game. DB, yeah, that's Dave Barris. 17 okay. to 10. Did he phone it in this week? He texted it to me. <laughs> okay. He did. So, BD, that is you that's there. 28 24. RO, that's me, 21 17. And Phil here, 21 7. I swear, Phil, that's the same score you had last week. I bet you we didn't get his uh, score. He's maybe sending maybe the same text. That's the problem. <laughs> Just copy paste, that's right? right. <laughs> so, anyway, we'll see here. Hopefully, the Colts will do okay with the Titans, but uh, we'll see. I'm you know, hoping we'll... for a close game with some high scoring, you know, something to get excited about, but then a Colts win. You know, games, right? if, if it was three to two, I'd take it if it's a Colts win here, even if it's a low scoring game. But <laughs> weather should be really true. great. Let's show you outside here. We'll show you this time lapse. And uh, from earlier today, this is up on Morse Reservoir in Cicero. Got up to a great 